Hello, my name is Tom, and I go to this Challengers High School. But what's so unique about this high school? Well, this school is very competitive, but not against other schools, but against each other. Each student in this school are put into four teams. The four teams are the helpers, the workers, the intelligent, and the athletic. Every year, each of the different teams would pick a challenge, a challenge for the other ones to do. This year, it was the helper's turn, slash the one who takes the longest. This year, the helpers decided to send the four teams on a mission to clean the three be different beaches and oceans. While we do that, most of us would do anything we'd want. But of course, be helpers being the helpers, Half of them decided to clean up the beach as well. These are the workers. They are the team who'd always come second in almost every challenge. By the way, in each team, there are 17 people. The workers' plan is always using their efforts and building things. But this year, they're putting their effort into putting the, bin, the trash in the bins. Their one rule that they have made is to beat the athletics. These are the intelligence. As you can see from their name, they're the smart team. They rely all on tactics and creating tools. They normally come for due to them taking a long time making the tools and discussing on what strategy they're gonna use. Their rule is use 50% of your brain at the start. These are the helpers. They always help people in need, no matter what. They always come forth due to them helping people along the way. They help the teams even though they're competitors. And their role is to be nice and help everyone. We are the athletics. As you can see, we're all about doing things. We don't care about strategy or if it will fail. We just get it the work done. This is the reason why we're always first in almost all the challenges. Our rule is to become the first. In the end, the athletics won, like always. But something changed all of a sudden. We didn't want to do the challenges. We wanted to help the pollution and the plastic. We didn't care about the school curriculum. We all had our challenges set for cleaning up pollution and plastic around the world. Studies revealed plastic pollution in 52% of turtles, 59% of whales, 36% of seals, and 40% of seabird species. Sadly, plastic pollution makes up to 60 to 90% of all marine debris studied. 100 marine mammals and turtles and 1 million seabirds are killed by plastic pollution. Sadly, 8 million pieces of plastic pollution find their way into our oceans. Please spread awareness. Thank you.